Hello everybody, it's Kelly. Hope you've had a great week. Today we're testing out fabric paint for card making. Does it work? Stay tuned. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be using the blue, emerald green, lemon yellow, orange, and red. Okay, and also you're going to see here the Nina White cardstock that we're using. It's a 65 pound weight. It's not super heavy and it measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And we're also using a piece of regular copy paper as scrap paper. We're also going to be using bubble wrap from an Amazon package. And now placing down the fabric paint down on the clear ink blending mat from the bottom to the top. First putting down the blue and it does feel very thick coming out. Hope it doesn't dry too quickly. And next is the emerald green. And the lemon yellow. Now that is the orange. And now the red. Okay, so here I'm going to go ahead and place a piece of white plain copy paper underneath the paint so you can actually see it a little better. And now I'm going to take a toothpick and smooth out each color so it will have more coverage uh, on the bubble wrap since it's so thick. Next Not sure if you can tell or not. The paint does appear to be drying quicker than I expected. It seems to be balling up almost. Like there's a film forming on the top of the paint. Placing the bubble wrap on the paint and pressing it down into the paint. Now placing the bubble wrap down first, then placing a card stock on top and pressing it down into the paint, hopefully getting the bubble wrap impression. Here I'm just pressing down the card stock to get the best results. It looks like we got good impression, just not great coverage. Since it looks like the paint is still a little wet, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can fill up a couple more card panels for backgrounds. Looks like the blue and the green are drier than the red, orange, and yellow. I'm going to add a little bit more paint so that I'm able to make another panel. I hope you're able to see the shine. These are turning out really pretty. Um, but that blue and that green just seem to dry so quickly. Maybe I'm not adding enough of the blue and the green to begin with. I was only able to get three card panels without having to add more paint. This one has good texture. Well, they actually all have good texture. Let's see what type of card we can come up with using the bubble wrap design. Using the guillotine paper cutter, I'm going to cut this down three and a quarter by five since I want a panel behind this one. All the measurements and supplies will be listed in the description box below. Now 
Again, I cut this three and a quarter by five. Now for the panel, I'm going to create it using Stampin' Up! ink, and it's called Gorgeous Gray. It's a beautiful color. And also using a finger dauber to lay down the color on the cardstock panel, which will measure four by five and a quarter. I just love this color. If you notice, the only part that is colored is the part that will be seen. The part in the middle is left blank because the top panel will cover it. Okay, and now I'm going to be adding double-sided foam tape to the back of the background panel so it would give it a little bit of dimension. The white strips to the right are the backing from the foam tape. Oh, and let's not forget my Miracle Scissors, which those are called Cutter Bee Scissors. And here you'll notice I'm placing glue on top of a secret sentiment because I didn't realize I edited it out. The glue that I'm using here is Art Glitter Glue. It does dry clear. It is great glue. It dries very fast. It's a happy birthday to you sentiment by Sizzix. I cut out three using white cardstock, then one in black cardstock and glued them all together to give it some dimension. Here I'm deciding which baker's twine to use as an embellishment to bring out the natural colors and give it a little bit of flair. I decide on making bows with the blue, it's a lime green, a red, and a yellow. I'll be using mini glue dots by Zots to adhere the bows down to the card. Here I am also using the Art Glitter Glue to glue this down to the card base. Pressing everything down one last time just to make sure that it is glued down. And here we have a happy birthday to you finished card.
And here we have the three finished cards made with the Crafts for All fabric paint. All three of these are super cute. I especially like the one that I created using the die, the Hello die, and the two flowers. It turned out super cute. Would I use the fabric paint again to make cards? I would, but only if I waited several days after placing the fabric paint down so that they would dry thoroughly. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe. Any suggestions? leave in the comments. Good, bad, or indifferent. I would love to hear from you and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.